hey guys so uh, today we are going to learn about quartile deviation so uh, this portion is just formula based so uh, first i would uh, request you to just note down the formulas which i am showing right now pause the video and note down the formula uh, then quartile deviation is equals to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 where q1 is the first quartile q3 is the third quartile and coefficient of quartile deviation is q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 here uh, there is a table you should uh, keep a note of it uh, note down the formula first note down the formula i would be explaining it with the questions q1 you would be asked to find q1 q2 q3 so measures three columns are there measures individual and uh, discrete series continuous series for this is for the discrete series for discrete type of data and this is for the continuous type of data if you are asked for uh, finding the quartile deviation Q q1 for discrete type then you will use this formula for continuous type you will use this formula this is how it goes so uh, for q1 it is a, a capital n plus one by fourth item for uh, continuous type it is n by fourth item then find q1 uh, here n by fourth item would be uh, our um, value for this n by four that would be given by q1 equals to l1 plus n by 4 minus cf cf is here cumulative frequency no it is not you are wrong here so here the denotion cf is m m we read in median right what is m m is the preceding uh, cumulative frequency preceding it is uh, preceding cumulative frequency of the uh, median class divided by f into i i is here c what is c class interval uh, length of the class interval likewise for q3 it is like this and q2 q2 is always uh, also called as median class median size so uh, q, uh, it it would be asked like uh, find the median or the median size then also you can use this formula note down this formula by pausing the video let us solve a problem based on discrete frequency so the median size of the shoes for the figure uh, figures are given below size of shoes and frequencies are given what we need to calculate is calculate the quartile seventh decile 46 percentile before solving the problem i would uh, like to mention few things for decile for decile in uh, discrete type of data the formula is given by uh, d n is equals to n into capital n plus one by tenth item and percentile formula is uh, p n is equals to n into capital n plus one uh, one by uh, uh, hundredth item so uh, what is decile basic meaning of decile is n plus one by ten uh, for discrete type of data so d1 is one into n plus one by ten using this formula and p1 is equals to uh, one because uh, uh, n small n is one and uh, n plus one by hundredth item this is how it goes so while solving the problem we need to uh, make three columns size of shoes frequency and cumulative frequency uh, write down the size of shoes frequencies and how to calculate cumulative frequency i have told you guys one one two plus one three three plus four seven seven plus five twelve twelve plus fifteen twenty seven twenty seven plus thirty fifty seven and this is how it goes the final value is four fifty seven that would be equal to the total frequency this is the uh, when we add all these frequency it will be equal to 457 now we have been asked to calculate median or q2 Me median is also known as q2 uh, that is equal to size of n plus 1 by 2th item what is n here capital n 457 so 457 plus 1 by 2th item that would be 229th pair that is 8.5 what is 229th pair where would 229 come 229 would come after this uh, and bit, um, before this so uh, we would consider uh, this value the next greatest value so corresponding uh, si shoes of size uh, size of shoe is 8.5 so our value for q2 would be 8.5 now q1 is equals to size of n plus 1 by fourth item so n is 457 plus 1 by fourth pair that is 114.5th pair so the value for the 114.5th pair is 7.5 uh, this this is uh, this is how uh, we will calculate q1 the um, value of the pair you can see 
the value which comes just just after this value like that this is 114.5 so where is 114.5 in the cumulative frequency 114.5 so 114.5 will come somewhere here but we uh, so we'll take the next greatest that is 117 so now the corresponding shoe, uh, shoe size for one uh, shoes si uh, size for 117 is what is it 7.5 so our value is 7.5 this is how it is done now q3 size of uh, size of 3 into n plus 1 by fourth item n is 457 so the value would be 343.5th pair that would be 9 now decile uh, seventh decile so d7 size of 7 in uh, size of 7 into n plus 1 by 10th item what is n 457 calculated 320.6th pair that um, value would be 9 uh the value for um, this pairing thing is done similar to what i have explained you in the previous questions now 46th percentile size of 46 into n plus 1 by 100th item uh n is uh, small n is 46 so small n into n plus 1 by 100th item that was the formula so uh, the value will come 1210.68th pair what would be the uh, closest value that would be uh, 8 that is the answer so uh, in this last part we would be dealing with continuous frequency distribution and how to find a percentile decile and quartile for continuous frequency distribution so before that uh, note down this formula for continuous distribution uh, b uh, the decile formula is small n in, uh, into capital n by 10th item for and percentile formula is pn is equals to n into n by 100th item see decile means 10 that is why we have divided by 10 percentile means out of 100 so that is why we have divided by 100 so let us see the problem find the lower quartile median upper quartile decile 7 decile 7 means d7 16th percentile that is p17 for the following frequency distribution what is lower quartile lower quartile is nothing but q1 median is nothing but q2 upper quartile is nothing but q3 always remember these terms so the wages are given in class and the number of person uh, person is also given so now make three columns wages number of person and cumulative frequency Uh, for cumulative frequency, you uh, know how we calculate it, right? One, one, one plus three, four, four plus eleven, fifteen, fifteen plus twenty-one, thirty-six, thirty-six plus forty-three, seventy-nine. Now, Q one. What is Q one? Q one size of n by fourth item. That is size of what is total here? N is n is one twenty. Total frequency. Okay. So. Size of n by uh, fourth item is equal to size by one twenty by fourth item. That is size of thirty thirtieth item. So Q one lies. What is the thirtieth item? Where is thirtieth item? Where is the thirtieth item? So thirtieth item lies uh, between fifteen and thirty six. So what is the next greatest? Thirty six. So what is the uh, class for this? It is forty to fifty. So uh, Q one lies between the class forty to fifty. So now Q1 formula is L1 plus n by 4 minus CF cumulative frequency. What is the cumulative frequency here? It is uh, the cumulative cum cumulative frequency which like precedes the uh, cumulative frequency of our uh, class, our Q1 class. That is 15. So uh, by F into I, I is nothing but uh, length of the class. So length of the class is given by subtraction of the upper bound um, uh, and lower bound. That is fifty minus forty. That is ten. Uh, so this is the formula for L one is equals to forty. So we uh, we got the uh, lower bound that is L. L one is equals to forty. N by four we have calculated that is thirty. And CF that is the uh, preceding uh, value of cumulative frequency. That is fifteen. this this was our uh, this was our q1 class uh, and the cumulative frequency for q1 class is 36 so uh, so uh, what would be cf cf would be preceding value that is 15 now 
f f is 21 frequency of our uh, q1 class q1 class is 40 to 50 and the frequency is 21 and i is 10 length of the class now uh, just put the uh, values q1 is equals to 40 plus 30 minus 15 by 21 into 10 that would give you 47.14 now for q2 the median is equals to size of n by 2th item size of 120 uh, 120 by 2th item that is 60th item so uh, how, how we calculated the median class for previous question that is how we will calculate for uh, this uh, question for finding q2 also so 60 60th item what is our 60th item 60th item would lie between 36 and 79 so our median class would be corresponding to 79 because it is the next highest that is 50 to 60 so for this mm, class what is f our uh, f is 43 our cf would be 36 because it precedes the uh, class uh, precedes the cumulative frequency of uh, the high next highest value so uh, cf would be 36 i would be 10 60 minus 50 so uh, l1 is the lower low, lower uh, bound that is 50 n by 2 we got 60 cf is 36 f is 43 i is 10 we uh, put uh, put all this value on in the formula and we uh, get q2 that is equals to median equals to 55.58 that is size uh, always write the unit now q3 si uh, q3 is equals to size of 3n by fourth item that is 3 into 120 by fourth item 120 is capital n that is 90th item so where is uh, in cumulative fre frequency find 90 so we don't have exactly 90 so we'll find uh, 90 lies between 79 to 111 so the next highest value is 111 so 11 uh, uh, class corresponding to 111 that is 60 to 70 is our uh, class uh, median class or no not median class but q3 class so uh, frequency corresponding to this is 32 so f value is 32 and cf value for uh, our, uh, our q3 is 79 because it precedes the um, highest value uh, nearest uh, nearest value to the uh, third class we got third quartile we got q3 so now uh, i value is again 70 minus 60 that is 10 so this is how we put the formula q3 l1 lower lower limit that lower bound of the class 60 plus 3 n by 4 that is 90 minus cf cf is the uh, 79 cf is the uh, like uh, the preceding value of uh, cumulative frequency uh, near of the nearest highest value we got against the size of 90th item like 90 and uh, 90th item uh, lies between 79 and 111 so cf would be uh, the item uh, before uh, that uh, 90th item that is 79 and uh, our frequency uh, our q3 class is corresponding to the next highest item that is 111 so our frequency class is 60 to 70 l1 is equals to 60 uh, 3n by 4 is equals to 90 cf is equals to 79 f is equals to 32 i is equals to 10 so just put on uh, all these value on this formula and you will get the answer so uh, by putting on the formula we get q3 is equal to 63.44 now we have to calculate uh, d7 that is uh, decile 7 or 7th decile so formula is 7n by 10th item so 7 into 120 by 10th that is size of 84th item um, now we will calculate the uh, decile class uh, as we calculated for q3 q2 uh, so uh, decile uh, d7 lies in 60 to 70 l1 is the lower uh, limit of that class that is 60 7 n by 10 we calculated minus cf is the preceding cumulative frequency uh, of the uh, of uh, of the class of the uh, value cumulative frequency we got from here that is size of 83 uh, so 84 sorry so uh, 84 lies between two values right 84 lies here between 79 and 111 so cf would be 79 and our uh, uh, decile class would be corresponding to 111 that is the next highest that is 60 to 70 l l1 is 60 and then cf is 79 f is 32 f f f is the corresponding frequency um, with the decile class that is 60 to 70 uh, is the decile class so uh, frequency corresponding to this is f 
put the value and you would get 61.58 for uh, p60 that is percentile 60th 60th or uh, percentile uh, or uh, 60th percentile or percentile 60th uh, the value is 60 into capital n by 100 uh, here it is n small n size of uh, 60 into 120th item 16 to 120th by 100th item is equal to size of 72th item all the uh, values uh, would be found by uh, the method we used for all the previous uh, parts of this question so in the uh, formula for this percentile p60 is equals to l1 uh, we find uh, the median class so not median class percentile class uh, to be 50 to 60 so l1 would be 50 and uh, this 60 n by 100th value we have found 72 a cumulative frequency we can find uh, we can see that the value is 72 with item so 72 lies between 36 and 79 so our cf would be 36 and our f would be 43 i would be 60 minus 50 that is 10 and our class would be uh, percentile class would be 50 to 60 so uh, just put on these values and we will get 58.37 percentile this is the value so finally we are uh, done with module 1 see you guys in module 2 till then take care bye bye don't forget to subscribe our channel and also hit the bell icon for latest updates do share with your friends and like the video